on the north end of Ledbetter Point. We got a car clear around the end. He had a friend come pick him up. These were his tracks going around the end. I do not see him yet. We're just now uh, starting to curve around the end of Ledbetter. Found a soft spot. We're gonna have to go up high now and get over to where his car's at. Here I packed down some tracks in front of me. That's where his buddy came up in his F-250. That's where I came off around the end, but it is soft. I had to make four or five runs to get through, so we're gonna hook onto him and see if we at least can't get him out and get him started. how deep I am but I got a three or four inch problem on the differentials but that's some deep holes right there and we got pulling like that clear around the end of lead better almost a mile in this soft sand so it's gonna be a that'd be a fun pull here. We'll give her a try here we go.
I rehooked my line so I was pulling from both sides. I couldn't hook him up on both sides when he first started out because uh, he was buried in sand so deep. Now I got him on both sides and uh, that's working pretty good. Now we're just plowing all new sand here. We're not sinking in near as bad as we were. I probably should have just stayed down here to start with. This isn't near as bad as I thought it was going to be. This is his buddy's track that came up and picked him up. Now we still got another four miles back to Oysterville Approach at Five Miles Ocean Park. He was roughly he was roughly eight and a half, nine miles north of Oysterville. And it was still not high water. All the tracks that I made coming up here have all been covered over. We're still probably an hour and a half away from high water. Don't know if he would have gotten wet, but it would have been pretty close.